Well guys, the date today is January 5th and uh, that means the grouse season is closed. So officially the only season that's open for small game is uh, rabbits. Uh, as you guys know, this is my favorite time of year to get out, walk through the snow, uh, go find some snowshoe hair and uh, yeah, try to get a shot on them. It keeps me active all winter long and I just love hunting. So this is the only kind of option all winter that I have. Um, today I'm bringing the 17 HMR. You guys have seen it in videos uh, in the past there. This is one of my favorite guns to go for uh, for rabbits with, just because you get clean headshots, no pellets in the meat that way. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of snow though to start off here this year. I'm not looking forward to what it's going to look like in March, but uh, you know we gotta we gotta go with what we're the cards were dealt, and it's okay. I'm going to be hunting rabbits either way. So yeah, uh, just going to drive around, find a spot that looks promising, go for a walk, see what we can find today. I was just driving by here, getting one of my rabbit spots, and uh, saw something on the side of the road here. Let's see if he's still there. That's what the birds do this time of year. They find themselves a nice big tree, station up right beside it in the sunshine and sit there all day long. It's their way of just warming up on these uh, kind of cold days. But uh, yeah, they closed, I'd say four days ago now. That was when I did the last video, but just looking for rabbits today. Let's head on up the road, see what else we can see. Pretty incredible what a sunny day in the winter could do. Because just a couple days ago I was out looking for grouse all day. And uh, we saw a couple, but I mean not as many as I am right now. And it's definitely because of the sunshine. Um, I always find in the winter time these bright sunny days, you know, all, all the animals really start to come out. So yeah, there's three grouse beside me. That's uh, number, f that's four then, and about uh, 10 minutes of driving here. But uh, let's keep going up the road, see if we could find what we can get today. And that's rabbits. It's good to see anyway. So I just started the walk, didn't get too far off the road there, and uh, jumped a rabbit right away. Kind of ran out, did a circle, then went right back to where you could see it in the video. Had to do some shots through some twigs, but we're on the board. We got a rabbit. <laughs> First one of the new year. Well, there's our first rabbit of the new year. Beautiful snowshoe hair. So I realized I had a bunch of uh, twigs in the way there. But well, there's our first snowshoe hair of the new year. Again, I just love this. Love walking through the bush like this midwinter. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of fun trying to find these uh, find these guys. You know, they can be pretty spooky and pretty ghost-like, but uh, once you narrow it down, kind of figure out where they like to stay then uh, you'll have yourself some successful days. 
uh, as well as some uh, some fresh meat for the stew pot in the winter. So here we go. Let's keep walking through here. So right there's a pretty heavily worked in snowshoe hair trail going up into the bush there. It's always what I look for. I'll look for like main drag trails. I'll just follow them through the bush and eventually it has to lead to a rabbit. So I'm gonna catch my breath and then we're gonna go that way. We've got another grouse. Believe it or not, that's grouse number nine for the day. Looks like there's a healthy population around here. There's gross tracks everywhere here. I can guarantee you, as soon as evening hits, they'll be up in those birch trees eating the buds. So we made it to the back side of these slash piles. And the, the rabbits are definitely using them as, uh, as food sources as well as cover. So as you can see, there's all kinds of pine needles underneath there. So they've been uh, approaching that and eating those needles. If I had a shotgun, I'd go around and kick each one of these and maybe set the camera up because there's probably some tucked away underneath there, but it would just be too tough with the rimfire. I gotta get solitary shots, so keep walking down here. Just working my way out of this uh, skidway here. Didn't see as many uh, rabbits or even sign as I expected. Uh, this is a brand new spot I've never hunted here before, but I'm kind of limited on where I can hunt right now just because uh, lots of the roads aren't plowed. But uh, we got the first rabbit of 2023, so that's good. You got to start somewhere. And uh, it seemed like I filmed a grouse documentary today with how many I saw, so that's a good sign anyway. But uh, yeah, got lots of uh, future plans here in the next few weeks on where I plan on rabbit hunting. Um, yeah, so just gonna call her from here, walk on out, but uh, when you're hunting, it's not over till it's over. So maybe we got another rabbit to see here.